If you ever pull an outlet or a switch out of the wall and you've got short wires, knowing how to make an electrical pigtail can be really useful. That's what we're gonna show you right now. Now safety first, make sure that the outlet or the switch that you're working with, that the power was shut off. You wanna to go to your breaker panel, you wanna turn off the circuit and make sure if you have your tester, turn it on and then make sure that all of the wires are dead. Now, really with a pigtail, all you're doing is you're taking a group of wires, you're clumping them together, and then you're having one long wire come off of it. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna actually separate your wires by color. So get all your black wires together, all your white wires together, and all of your copper ground wires together. So I've got some extra wire here. I'm actually gonna take out so that I've got one of each. I've got a black wire, a white wire, and I've got this copper ground wire. Now in the box, as you can see, these wires are actually a different length. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to strip them so that they're the same length. And then clip them so that when I go to put my pliers on and twist, they're the same size. Now the wire that I'm gonna strip for the pigtail, I wanna strip and have, a, have the copper exposed about the same length as the wires that I have here on the wall. Now, as an electrician, I was taught that I need to actually take these wires and I need to twist them together. And you wanna actually twist them clockwise. Now, the reason you go clockwise is because when you go to put on your wire nut, you're going to be screwing it clockwise. You want the wires to tighten in on each other. Now, see how, see how tightly those are together? So now, once I've got that done, I will normally clip off the end to make sure it's nice and straight and make sure that my wire nut's actually gonna cover the exposed copper. And then I take the wire nut and I screw the wire nut on. Now, what I've got are all of my neutrals are together and I've got this one wire that's much longer when I push these other wires back into the box. Now you can imagine how much easier this is to work with than trying to connect an outlet to these really short wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the black wires and to the copper wires. So once the pigtails are made, you wanna take all of your wires, fold them up like an accordion, push them in the back of the box. And now, now you've got wires that are plenty long to work with. Now you don't need excessive wires. So I usually come about six or seven inches out of the box and clip them off. So my hand just happens to be the right size. So I'll take them and I will clip them off like that. And I'm ready to put in a new outlet. Just strip these, make fresh connections. Well, that's how you make an electrical pigtail. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.